An Arctic blast is on the horizon for New England, but by the time the weekend is over, the chilling temps are expected to be record-breaking. That's right. In Boston, the mayor has declared a cold emergency. The city is joining several other districts in closing schools for the day. Warming centers have been activated in Boston, and homeless shelters won't be turning any people away. Joining us now from Boston Seaport District is CBS oh. News correspondent Nancy Chen. Nancy, thank you so much, first of all, to you and your crew for standing out there to give us this report. <laughs> give, give us a sense, right, because I always say this about when the temperature gets to be this cold and the wind blows on your face, it is like needles on your face or any yeah. exposed skin, right? It is, I mean, we know because we've both been out there and we've covered yes. this so kind many of, of them. right, yes. this kind of frigid temperature. It is punishing. What is it, uh, what is it like where you are right now? Well, certainly, and if you are by the water like we are right now, you, you feel that cold. Uh, it is freezing for so many people here. Temperatures are in free fall. Right now, it's about 15 degrees with a feels like temperature, the wind chill factor of negative two degrees. Oh. By tonight, temperatures in this area are expected to be in the single digits. But the worst of this really comes tomorrow morning, and that's when most towns in this area will be below zero. And it is expected to, in fact, bottom out between negative five and negative 15 degrees. It is so cold that it could potentially be record breaking in Boston and feel as cold as minus 30 degrees. And here's something that I did not know about before coming here today are frost quakes. That is how cold it is that people are talking about this phenomenon where it's so cold that the water underneath the surface freezes, which creates pressure on the soil and bedrock, creating these loud booms and shaking the ground where it could feel almost like many earthquakes. I have been covering weather here in New England for more than 10 years. I can tell you I have never heard about that uh, <laughs> until today. Wow. Uh, so we shall see what happens. Wow. That's a new one. That's a new one that for me. That is a new I'm one. I'm from Chicago. Never heard of that There before. it is. Okay. There it is. Nancy yeah. Chen bringing <laughs> us new information. new information. Talk to us about the precautions <laughs> because, you know, you are going to be able yeah. to come in from the cold. What are those warming centers? And for people who are homeless on the street, what is being done yes. to help them? This can be punishingly cold and dangerously cold for people who are out here. It is so cold that uh, even a minute out here without the proper coverage and precautions can lead to frostbite. So because of that, uh, warming shelters have opened and they open when there is a cold emergency declared, which, as you mentioned, the mayor has done. And more than 30 community centers have opened for people to take shelter and to stay warm in. Libraries and shelters are also there for people to stay inside. And it is so cold uh, that uh, public Public schools, major public school districts have closed, including Boston Public Schools, with the superintendent saying it's because it is just so dangerous for students walking to and from school to be outside in these kinds of conditions. Well, wow. all right, Nancy Chen, uh, now you can rush in and get warm. Thank you uh, so safety much. Safety to you and yours, our crew. CBS <laughs> News, always on. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. We're going to have some hot chocolate. Please, Good, do. please do. Well deserved. Thank you.